theorem on a linear span if s is a any uh, non empty subset of a vector space v then ls is the smallest subspace of v containing s now to prove this theorem so uh, what is given here suppose uh, let take an one example here first suppose say v is equal to i am i am going to take here example suppose take here v is equal to r square and take s is equal to 1 1 uh, and 1 0 suppose these are the two vectors say v1 bar say this is a v1 bar and v2 bar then what is ls here ls is equal to ls is equal to alpha 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar where alpha 1 alpha 2 are scalar okay so want to uh, want to show that this ls is the subspace of v and it is the smallest subspace containing 1 1 and 1 0 if there exist another subspace which containing 1 1 and 1 0 then it contain ls also so for example if you write some element of ls say first if we take here say uh, ls if alpha 1 and alpha 2 is equal to 0 then the first limit is what 0 0 if alpha 1 is 1 and alpha 2 is 0 then it is 1 1 then alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is uh, 1 then it is 0 1 uh, 1 0 sorry 1 0 okay next if we take alpha 1 is 1 alpha 2 is 1 then it is what 2 1 if we take uh, and so on so these are uh, infinitely it contain infinitely many vectors and we want to show that it is a subspace of v and it is the smallest subspace of v containing these two vectors 1 1 and 1 0 so what we assume here first to prove this what is given here given s is any non-empty subset uh, of vector space v s is a subset of v and what is our claim claim ls is subspace of v now to show that subspace uh, subspace of v we want to show that ls is a non-empty ls must satisfy three conditions which three condition the it must be non-empty then it is closed under vector addition and it, it is closed under vector scalar multiplication so first of all we assume here let s is equal to say s is equal to let here we assume s is equal to say v1 bar v2 bar dot 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 phi n bar okay then what is ls here ls is equal to ls is equal to alpha 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 alpha n v n bar where alpha 1 alpha 2 dot dot alpha n are all scalars okay now to show first we are going to show that ls is a subspace of v step first or in uh, part first instead of step first i am writing here part first here we are going to show that ls is subspace of v subspace of v so now since 0 bar is equal to 0 v1 bar plus 0 v2 bar plus dot 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 0 vn bar n bar and this implies it belongs to ls this implies 0 bar is also line ls is belongs in ls and therefore ls is non-empty that is what is here alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n they are all equal to what 0 and we know that what we know that that is uh, uh, the 0 into v bar is equal to 0 bar this already we have proved in previous video so now next uh, let v y, u bar let take two vectors say u bar is equal to u bar and v bar belongs to ls now since u bar and v bar in ls implies u bar is equal to say alpha 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 alpha n v n bar where alpha 1 alpha 2 where alpha i are scalars similarly v bar is equal to beta 1 v1 bar plus beta 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 beta n v n bar where beta i 
again real numbers so now we want to show that uh, 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 u bar plus v bar is also lie in ls so u bar plus v bar is alpha 1 plus beta 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 plus beta 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 alpha n beta n vn bar now say gamma uh, is i is equal to alpha i plus beta i if you use gamma i is equal to alpha i plus beta i then u bar plus v bar is equal to gamma 1 v1 bar plus gamma 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 gamma n vn bar but what this implies this u bar plus v bar is in uh, is in linear combination of v1 bar v2 bar and vn bar and this implies it belongs to ls and therefore u bar this implies u bar plus v bar is lie in ls next we want to show that it is closed under scalar multiplication so consider k u bar so what is k u bar here k u bar k is equal to alpha 1 v 1 bar plus alpha 2 v 2 bar plus dot 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 alpha n v n bar now if you simplify this this is equal to k alpha 1 v 1 bar since it is a vector space k alpha 2 k alpha 2 v 2 bar plus dot 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 k alpha n k alpha n v n bar okay uh, since we know that alpha beta u bar is equal to alpha times beta u bar since v is a vector space so this implies say for k say it is equal to uh, say say this term is equal to say uh, again uh, you can uh, write any uh, number say here uh, instead of k alpha when you can write here gamma 1 v1 bar plus gamma 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 gamma n vn bar okay what is your gamma i gamma i is equal to k alpha i now this implies this vector uh, k u bar is a linear combination of v1 bar v2 bar vn bar what is ls ls is nothing but the linear combination of vector v1 bar v2 bar vn bar and therefore k u bar belongs to ls and therefore from this what we can say that the first step is what you can observe here that the i am i am highlighting here okay what is ls is non empty from this step ls is non empty then ls is closed under vector addition and ls is closed under scalar multiplication and therefore ls satisfy all the three condition and therefore what from this we can say that ls is a subspace of phi ls is subspace of phi now next we want to show that step uh, part 2 ls is the smallest subspace ls is the smallest subspace subspace is containing s containing set s so suppose to prove this suppose w is another subspace other subspace space containing containing s yes that is that is s is a subset of w now s is a subset of w since v1 bar v2 bar dot 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 vn bar belongs to s this implies this implies alpha 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar plus dot 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 alpha n vn bar belongs to w why because s containing uh, s s is a subset of w but what is alpha 1 v1 bar but this implies since alpha 1 v1 bar alpha 2 v2 bar dot 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 alpha n v n bar belongs to ls ls okay 
सो अल्फा वन वी एन बार अल्फा टू वी टू बार अल्फा एन वी एन बार सॉरी हियर वी वी वांट टू अज्यूम हियर हियर नाउ टू शो दैट दैट यू एस इज अ सबसेट ऑफ डब्ल्यू लेट टेक यू बार बिलोंग्स टू एल एस बी एनी वेक्टर बी एनी वेक्टर एनी वेक्टर देन देन यू बार इज इक्वल टू से यू बार इज इक्वल टू u bar belongs to u bar can be written as alpha 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar plus alpha n vn bar which is what belongs to w but since u bar belongs to this is nothing but the u bar okay i am i am writing one more time say say here okay part 2 i am writing here part 2 part 2 okay we want to show that here ls is the smallest subspace smallest subspace containing space containing meaning yes so suppose suppose w is another other subspace say other subspace of v containing containing set s yes. that is s is a subset of w Now what we want to prove here, we want to prove that LS is uh, LS uh, is a subset of W. So let U bar belongs to LS. LS. Now this implies U bar is equal to alpha one v one bar plus alpha two v two bar plus dot 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 alpha n v n bar. Well, uh, now since what is s here s v1 bar v2 bar dot 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 vn bar belongs to s and s is a subset of w this implies these vectors are belongs to in w but w is a subspace so what this implies now since w is a subspace since u bar in ls u bar you can be write for some alpha i for some alpha i in r okay i is equal to 1 to dot dot n you can write this but w is a subspace implies alpha 1 v1 bar alpha 2 v2 bar dot 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 alpha n v n bar lie in uh, in w okay so this implies but what is the value of uh, this term this value of this term is equal to u bar okay so what this implies u bar belongs to w and therefore if u bar belongs to s and therefore from this you can check here okay, i am highlighting here so u bar belongs to s implies u bar belongs to w and therefore and therefore since u bar belongs to ls then u bar belongs to w and therefore and therefore ls is also subset of w and therefore ls is the smallest subspace ls is smallest subspace smallest subspace space of v of uh, subspace containing s yes. containing s yes. one more uh, part is we are missing here i am writing here so the you want to show that whether ls is contain v1 bar v2 bar or vn bar so uh, before part 2 uh, you can write here say this is part 3 i am writing say this is what part 3 is of part 2 here you can write part 3 now what is part 2 part 2 uh, here we are going to show that s is a subset of ls now since for every vector vi bar can be written as 0 v1 bar Plus zero v two bar plus dot 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 one v i bar v i bar plus dot 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 zero v n bar. Okay, where i is equal to i is equal to one two dot dot n. That is for v one bar we can write v one bar as v one bar is equal to one into v one bar and for other it is zero into v two bar plus dot 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 zero into v n bar. So this implies v i v i bar is Uh, uh, is belongs to ls and therefore this this part is missing and then you can uh, write here part 3 okay part 3 so by using part 3 you can uh, uh, you, you can what here you can prove that 
ls uh, is a, a subspace of v and it is the smallest subspace of v containing s thank you